Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a clickable list item in your Squarespace website. Currently, when you have a list item in Squarespace, you have the option for an image, a title, a description, and a button. And the only part about that list item that's clickable is the button, until now. Thanks to a little bit of custom CSS, we're going to be able to make the entire list item clickable, and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you how to do. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below. But for this specific code, there are two very important parts of it that you need to change to make it work for your own website. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'll teach you how to install this code in Squarespace and what parts of it you'll need to change. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and I do want to mention this is specific for a simple list, not a carousel or a banner. And the button will be no longer visible, but it is functional. So I have a simple list here on my site with an image, a title, description, and a button. And down here is the code that we're going to be playing with, but I'll show you how to edit that code so it suits the style of your own site. Now, really quickly, let's hop into edit mode. I'll select add section. And here under people, this is where you'll find a list section. This eye right here, this icon on the top right hand side of these website previews, that's an indicator that this is an auto layout in this situation, a list section. Notice how this one doesn't have an eye, neither does this. Make sure what you're working with has that eye and you'll be using the right section for this particular tutorial. Now I've already created one. Here's your other indicator, this icon right here where it says edit content. This means we're working with the list section. Up here, it'll say add block if it's a standard section and you won't see that option for edit content. Down here, edit content, list section, you get the idea. Alrighty, last but not least, make sure you've toggled on show button. We want to make sure that the buttons inside our content tab not only have text, but they also link to something. In this case, I've just linked it to my website so I can show you an example. Just make sure it has actual text. That's super duper important. All right, we've got that set up. Let's go ahead and exit and we're going to add our custom code and customize it. I'm going to navigate to website and then I'll select website tools and then custom CSS. Again, you'll find this code underneath the video. I almost forgot before we add that code, I just want to show you when I hover over this item, notice that my cursor is still just a standard cursor. Here's a text one where I can highlight the text, but the only time I actually see the clickable cursor, that click option is right here over the actual button. That's the only clickable part of this list item. And that's what we're changing. All right, let's go ahead and add our custom code. Now, immediately, you'll see some changes here. The first that's pretty obvious is that I've added a background to the list item and a hover effect to change that background on a hover. I want to make sure it's obvious that this is something that's going to be clickable. But check out that cursor. Even hovering over the image, the whole list item is clickable. Now, this is how we made that happen. The first thing we did was adjust the actual button. We scooted the button up so it would be on top of the entire list item. We remove the border radius so even the edge of the item is clickable. And then we change the height so it matched the height of the content for this list section. And then we pulled up the bottom to make sure that it would be the correct height. Notice that this value and this value are the same and those will be unique to your site. That is the specific height I needed for the font size and spacing that I've selected for this list item. Yours might be 30, yours might be 10, super customizable and I'll show you exactly how you figure out the right value. Removing these two lines of code right here will show us the button on a hover. See how it still says read bio? This is the entire button for a list section taking up the whole space. But what I've done is set opacity zero, including on a hover. Now, if I remove that line again, we'll see the button on a hover. And now we can see how things like editing the height might change it. If I actually make this 20, We'll notice the button only takes up a little bit of space there. The top of the image won't be clickable anymore for this list item. So 28 was the right size for me. And again, adjust this value as well so it suits the size for your own site. I recommend removing this line of code that says list item content button hover opacity zero so you can at least see how much space the button is taking while you're editing the content. Put it back there when you're ready to launch and it won't be visible. And again, I'd also recommend adjusting the background color for the list item, maybe even giving it a border if you want to, something to note that it's actually clickable. We want to change the style a little bit as a good indicator that this entire item is a clickable link. Now, if you do want to add a border, let's go ahead and say border 3px solid, we'll make it pink. And then down here, we'll say border color blue. 
And now when we hover over it, the border is going to change color. You can add all kinds of different customizations here to the list item hover effect. Again, strongly encouraged. So it's obvious that the whole thing is clickable. However, you've customized this code, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes I just shared with you, along with some links to additional resources that I think you're going to love. So definitely check those out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and a comment. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.